Hello there, great people. I hope you are doing well and safe. So I just realized today that uh, I had an upgrade for Mac OS Big Sur. Okay, I was running the uh, release candidate number two. And, uh, you know, I just checked. And in fact, there was a, um, a download available. Okay, now I'll show you there are differences. Okay, this is the final. Uh, let's go here to the screenshot. This was the amount that was required to download. It was a little bit uh, strange. Uh, it is 2.21 gigabytes on this machine. This is a mid 2015 Mac. Um, this was the amount that was required to download. And then this is what I want to show you because I didn't have, you know, uh, since I am on the developer uh, program, okay, I didn't have um, this build. So let's go to the release candidate number two. And in fact, it is, uh, let me put this big. So there is one number in difference. This is the new one, this one, okay, the new one, version 11.0.1 .1 with the build number 20B29. These are the specs of the machine. And this one is the 11.0.1 .1, and the build number is the 20B28. <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so, as you can see, the release candidate number two is the 29, and this build is the 28. So, I don't know, okay? I don't know why, but uh, that's it. That's what I, what I found. And if I go here to software update, uh, <coughs> I will show you that I think my profile, no, it's still here. This Mac is enrolled, as you can see, I will zoom it. This Mac is enrolled on the Apple Developer Seal program, okay? Seal program. So I don't know why this new build is a number below. Uh, I will test it, of course, I, I just installed it, but let's go to the numbers. Let's go to the release candidate number one. Let's start with the GPU, the CPU. This was the CPU on the released candidate number two. And on the final, I put this final because I don't know, the CPU results were a little bit uh, higher on the single core, okay? release candidate number two, final, okay? So as you can see over here, we have uh, 1818 uh, versus uh, 909. So almost uh, 100 uh, score difference. But uh, on the multi-score, this final release was lower than the release candidate number two okay so i was you know i was a little bit shocked because i thought i was in the final build but as you saw <laughs> there are different numbers okay they don't, don't don't tell any betas they don't tell anything let's go to the gpu okay guys gpu release candidate number two uh, this is metal score and let's go to the final over here GPU and let's quit this arrange the windows and as you can see I have had a higher score on this final build it was about as you know 2.22 gigabytes to download uh, so these are the results for the metal score on this build 
this final build. I hope this is the final build that I'm using. Okay, so <clears throat> a little bit of uh, of uh, increase. So I was looking if there is anything new. Uh, I haven't found anything uh, new here. You know. Um, also, if you want to know, there is a video on the channel how you can let me how you can download apps from anywhere. If you want me to make another video regarding this, how to able for you to download apps from anywhere, not only from the App Store and the App Store and identify developers. There are so much good people over there that are creating so so many apps. Um, so I was not seeing, for example, if I go to uh, to the desktop and screensaver, everyone likes new wallpapers. They still remain the same. Okay, nothing new over here. They still remain the same. And uh, uh, after you know digging a little bit, there isn't anything new over here. Okay nothing nothing new so my battery uh, on the release candidate number two over here was perfect okay no issues there but uh, the things that I have to tell you if you didn't make it uh, already is that uh, keynote pages and numbers were updated also garage band as you can see over here there are new icons okay uh, so they were updated as well as the final cut this is the, the the app that i use the most okay and now they have the version 10.5 okay guys so i will edit this video on on final cut also on screen flow because i'm recording <clears throat> but in fact Let's go ahead and check the final thing and uh, let's go to my channel. Let's go to my channel uh, over here. Let me see. Uh, no, no, V. No, no, V. And let's click it. And let's see the last video. It is between the iPhone uh, 8 and the iPhone 12 mini. And we see if it is on 4K. Let me take the sound. Yeah, it is. I told you in the last video how you can enable this, okay? If you go uh, to Safari, Preferences, okay? Advanced, and you'll check this Show Develop menu in the menu bar. And afterwards, you go to Develop go to experimental features go down and you will enable let me see what is it let me click here oh i'm sorry too much zoom <laughs> so show experimental features and there is something that is called let me check over here there are so many things you will have to enable, let me see, it's not, okay, uh, <clears throat> these two, the VP9 codec, you have to enable that um, in order for you to see um, 4K video, okay, 4K or 2K, okay, more than 1080p. But uh, I was seeing there is something different here because, because uh, there was also the capability to have that. Okay, it, here it is. Sorry about that. These two, these two VP9 SW decoder on battery, check that, okay, and also VP9 decoder also check that in order for you to see 4k video like this one this is my video regarding the iphone 12 mini and the iphone 8 and as well 
as you can see it is in 4k okay so you have the ability to have this on safari so guys for now this is what i have to say there isn't anything new uh, i will test of course the new final cut there is there is a new icon i like it seems seems okay and uh, i will see the export times and everything and afterwards i'll make a follow-up on uh, this new uh, release again as you saw i have a new iphone mini running already the ios 14.3 uh, and i will compare uh, between that phone and also my iphone 8 uh, you know the performance and everything for now this is all guys stay safe and i hope to see you on the next one bye bye